Hey up guys, Brave Leonard here and welcome to episode number one of a brand new playthrough on the channel. I said we were just going to have a short one to tide us over between Nuzlocks. This is it, we are going on the Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy Color. Now, it's been a long time since I've played this game. <laughs> I keep saying that at the start of every playthrough that we do. But I figured we'd play it because why, why not? Why not play it? We've been doing some TCG stuff on the channel. And, uh, yeah, why not? Why not, uh, why not play through the TCG game on the Game Boy Color? Like I say, it's just a short playthrough. Uh, Leon is crazy about Pokemon and Pokemon card collecting. One day, Leon heard a rumor. The legendary Pokemon cards, extremely rare and powerful cards held by Pokemon training cards games greatest players the Grand Masters are searching for one to inherit the legend. Dreaming of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards, Leon visits the Pokemon card researcher Dr. Mason. Okay. So. Oh, why the rush, Leon? What? Do you want to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game? So you too finally want to start playing the card game. Well, dueling is much more... Is it's more fun than just collecting cards. First, you should try playing with a practice deck. Here, I'll give you this deck. And now you need an opponent. Hey, Sam, play with him for a while. Yes, Dr. Mason. How Leon? Okay, let's give it a try. Alright. So we are here. Uh, in a second, I realize I am going to need a random number generator. Because it is clearly the best way of doing things. First, ask Sam the basics of the game. Okay, Leon, what do you want to ask about? Um, yeah, we don't need to ask any all of this, do we? We don't need to ask all that. Is that all? Yes. They say that actions speak louder than words, so let's play a game. Since this is your first time, just try to learn the basic steps. I'll be coaching you, so follow my advice. If you don't do as I say, we won't be able to proceed. It might be easier if you read the Pokemon trading card game instruction booklet while we play. Okay, then. Let's start your practice game. Okay. Text Sam, Sam's practice deck. Since this is just a practice, do not shuffle the deck. So we're just going to do the tutorial in this episode. We want to get through that, and then at the end of it, I believe you have to choose what deck you want. Choose basic Pokemon, draw seven cards, get ready for the battle. Choose your active Pokemon. You can only choose basic Pokemon as your active Pokemon. So you can choose either Golding or Staryu. For our practice duel, choose Goldeen. Let's play Goldeen then. You choose up to five base Pokemon. For Next, put Pokemon on your bench. You can switch bench Pokemon with your active Pokemon. Again, only basic Pokemon can be placed on your bench. Choose Star You from your hand and put it there. Let's place Star You on the bench. Then, when you have no Pokemon to put on your bench, press the B button to finish. Placing the prizes. Please place two prizes. Okay, so it's just going to be a short game. Coin will be tossed to decide who goes first. If heads, Leon's please first. I think it's always heads. Piece of tutorial. Draw one card from the deck. To use the attack command, you need to attach energy cards to your Pokemon. Choose cards from the menu and set a water energy card. Next, choose your active Pokemon, Goldeen, and press the A button. Then, the water energy card will be attached to Goldeen. Finally, attack your opponent by selecting an attack command. Choose attack from the menu and select horn attack. Well, they've changed that. You can't uh, attack on your first turn. You're not supposed to be able to. Straight away, we, he's, he's got a matchup, and we're doing damage to him. Fighting energy to match up. Low kick will do 20 damage to me. It's going to knock me out next turn. What do we draw? A water energy. But we do have a potion. Your Goldeen's going to get knocked out. Let's evolve it. Oh, we've got the Seeking. Choose Seeking from your hand and attach it to Goldeen to evolve it. His HP increases from 40 to 70. Your Seeking doesn't have enough energy to use Waterfall. You need to attach a Psychic Energy card to Seeking. Colorless means any energy card. You Now you can use Waterfall. Keep the Water Energy card for other Pokemon. 
Now let's attack your opponent with Sea King's Waterfall. Okay. So, we evolve, evolving into Sea King. Attach the Psychic Energy. And attack with Waterfall. This seems simple. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get this um, this playthrough done in the next sort of few, uh, perhaps two or three weeks, but three weeks at the most. Um, just like blitzing, going going into all of the the clubs and and getting the is it badges that you get in this? I can't remember. Sea Kings have got enough energy, so you don't need to attach any more. Attach energy cards to your basic bench Pokemon to get them ready for battle. Attach a water energy card to your bench Saryu. Next, select the attack command. Machop has 10 HP left. Sea King's Horn Attack will be enough to knock out Machop. Now choose Sea King's Horn Attack. Now Machop's HP is zero and it is knocked out. When you knock out the defending Pokemon, you can pick up a prize. Now let's play the game. That's water energy to start you. Horn attack. It doesn't, allow, it doesn't allow you to go for the overkill of using waterfall. What a surprise, a water energy. Ratata comes out. Ooh, he's a bolt to a rat gate. drowsy. When all of your Pokemon are knocked out and there are no Pokemon on your bench, you'll lose the game. Put Drowsy, the basic Pokemon you just drew, on your bench. Attach a water energy card to Drowsy to get it ready to attack. Choose your active Seeking and attack your opponent with Waterfall. Okay. Thought it would teach me about uh, retreating actually then. Apparently not. Waterfall. Uh, next turn, he's going to knock me out, allowing me to come in with Staryu and finish up the job. So yeah, all I want to do is go through the um, the tutorial in this episode. Then in the next episode, we will, depending on what um, what deck we end up with, we will start taking on the clubs. And we'll, I'll choose whichever club is the best. Choose a bench Pokemon to replace your knocked out Pokemon. You now have Drowsy and Staryu on your bench. Choose Dra Staryu as your active Pokemon for this practice duel. Here, press select to check Pokemon data. It is important to know your cards and the status of your Pokemon. Now let's play the game. I'm not... not checking. Oh well, for some reason my Xbox just signed me out. <laughs> Staryu evolves into Starmie. Let's get Staryu ready to use Starmie's attack command to get when it evolves into Starmie. Choose the water energy card from your hand and attach it to Staryu. Attack your opponent with Staryu's slap. Now let's play the game. Okay. So we're all ready for start using Starmie's Star Freeze. I believe the attack command is. Match up on the bench. Is he going to retreat? I think he is. He is. Ah, uh, we still not got the Starmie. Now, recover Star you with a trainer card. Choose Potion from your hand. Next, now let's get ready to evolve it to Starmie. Also attach a Water Energy card to Star you. Attack your opponent with Star you slap to end your turn. Potion. See you lot. Water energy on Staryu. It's amazing how far the TCG has come since like these days. Now uh, the, the modern day game is just nothing like this. Absolutely nothing like this. If you've ever watched um like the, the TCG World Championships or anything. The decks that they use are just insane. We finally got the Starmie. Now you have finally drawn a Starmie card. Choose Starmie from your hand and use it to evolve Staryu. You've already attached enough energy to, to use Star Freeze. Attack your opponent with Starmie Star Freeze. Okay. Starmie. Brilliant. 
paralysis check. Get power up and get the paralysis. Don't know if that doesn't actually matter at all. Finish the turn without attacking. Kill the paralysis, and here we go. Now, matchup has only 10 HP left. Let's finish the battle. Attack with Stormy Starfreeze. You've knocked out your opponent. Pick up the last prize. Leon is the winner. All right. I wonder whether I can uh, get used to the the flipping heads things because there used to be like a specific point where you could hit it and it would pretty much always get heads. Leon well, yeah, took all the prizes. Awesome. Basically, this is how the Pokemon trading card game is played. It is a game in which you try to knock out as many of your opponent's Pokemon as there are prizes. That's the gist of it. If you don't understand something, talk to Sam. Might be helpful to practice again too. This was just a practice. So, I had you follow everything I said, but there are other styles of play. So try them out by choosing Normal Duel. Now then, let's build your deck. Did you bring your cards? Leon handed his cards to Dr. Mason. Hmm, let me add some of my own cards to yours. Now, Leon, what kind of deck do you want? Well, we get the age-old choice in Pokemon. Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur. Once again, the same as we did for... Um, I want one to nine, don't I? So the same as we did for um, choosing our starter in Pokemon Red, we're going to use a random number generator to choose our our Pokemon, our deck. So I'll set it up one to nine. We've got 1 to 3 will be Charmander, 4 to 6 will be Squirtle, and 7 to 9 will be Bulbasaur. So I'm just going to generate, and let's see what we get. Result 1. We got Charmander again. Oh man. We got Charmander again. We are just getting a fire type every time. Charmander and Friends deck. Okay. Okay, a Charmander and Friends deck. Here are the remaining cards. Awesome. Receive 30 cards. You should duel with many different people. Why don't you go to one of the card clubs? There are many people playing at the clubs. Collect new cards and try building a new deck. Okay. So. If we go on... Let's see what uh, see what cards we got then. We got Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard, obviously. Growlithe and Arcanine. Ponyta and Magmar. We've got no Rapidash, so and then we've got some electric types. Pikachu, Raichu, Magnemite, Magneton, and Zapdos. That Zapdos, if I remember rightly, that Zapdos just takes lives, but it's so difficult to use because you need so much energy. We've got Diglett and Dugtrio. Machop and Machoke. Uh, I think I should probably end up taking out... Yeah. I should probably end up taking out that macho, match up and macho at some point. Rattata, Raticate and Meowth. What's that Meowth? Yeah, that's, that's alright. For the moment. Trainers, we've got Professor Oak, Bill, Switch, Computer Search, Plus Power, Potion and Full Heal. Plus we've got 10 Fire Energy, 8 Lightning, 6 Fighting Energy. Okay, we've got no Double Colors. That's all fine. That is all fine. So, we're going to end the episode off there. I know it's just a short one to start the uh, series off, but I hope you're uh, looking forward to me playing through the TCG game. Um, as soon as this is done, we will be looking at the new Nuzlocke, but I'm going to really enjoy playing through this. I, I haven't played through it in a long time, and it makes you think a little bit. Not as much as the TCGO does, but it's going to make me think a little bit. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Stay brave, guys.